Hey guys, here I am. This is Darla, aka Sugar May, and I want to talk about my wig, my first human hair wig. So stay tuned. I wanted to talk about this new addition to my wig collection. This is a human hair wig that I bought uh, in a private wig sale from one of the women I follow on YouTube for $25, which is a fantastic price for human hair wig. Now, this wig is long, comes down to probably my chest. I don't have the specs on it right now because uh, I know it's from Amazon and uh, when I went back to um, the video that uh, Elaine reviewed this wig on, uh, she had the specs but she didn't put a link down so you know I didn't research, <laughs> research it too much. But it's a long wig, it's human hair, it has combs on each side of my head here and one in the back that really secures it. It's got a lace front. Uh, it comes to about four inches, the lace front right here, and it has little baby hairs. Now, I did a research on baby hairs. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of women, will take the baby hairs and apply product and lay it down around their face in a scallop uh, design that's really pretty. Some women, they don't like them at all, so they just cut them off. <laughs> I don't want to be cutting my wig. And uh, some suggested that you just blend it in to the hair itself, and that's kind of what I did today. Now this does have some permatees in it, a little bit right here. So I think you can kind of puff this up, make it a little like a wild child if you wanted. Um, normally, this is not the color of a wig I would buy. I, I feel like it's too dark for me at this point in my life. My natural hair is a dark brown. And I only had my hair this color one time in my lifetime. And that's a story for another day. Ooh. But, and I, I wouldn't probably buy a wig this long, or I wouldn't pick out a wig this long either, because I feel that, you know, now that I have my new neck, this just kinda emphasizes my neck. So I'd rather have the short hair. I don't know, that's just me. Uh, maybe you guys have different opinions of that. You can always let me know down in the comments uh, how you deal with kind of camouflaging up without putting something like this all the time around your <laughs> chin. But the hair feels nice, you know, and even though it's a long, long uh, wig, it doesn't feel heavy on my shoulders. It feels natural, it, you know, I can move with it. It just flows. Uh, it just feels good all the way around. So you're probably saying, well, why'd you buy a wig if that's not your color and that's, uh, you know, not the length that you would normally buy. And it's because uh, in my, uh, like I mentioned in my last uh, relaunch video, my sister and I, we go to the Renaissance Fair and this year we're gonna go as Woodland Fairies and I thought this would be a great wig to, uh, you know, put some color into it uh, and dye it. I don't know if I'll do a permanent dye, but I'll probably do like a temporary dye for now uh, until, you know, just to, they have sprays with color. So I'm gonna play around with different ones. If you guys have any suggestion on products, for uh, putting different color in your hair, how it reacts or how it lasts. Uh, you know, this is a wig, so if I put permanent color in it, it's gonna have to uh, be dyed back over 
if I get tired of that color. Or if I just have a temporary, I could just wash it out. It might take me a few times to wash it out, but I can wash it out. So that's my feel. This is why I bought this wig. Now the only uh, cons I have about this wig is that the ear loops, I know this is my natural hair showing, but the cutout around the ears is kind of long. But the head, the, the wig itself does not feel big at all. It's snug to my head. Uh, it does have uh, adjustable straps in the back to, you know, adjust it. And I just kept it to where it was when I got the wig, and it seems to be fine. The combs really help it. I mean, this hair is not going nowhere, you know. <laughs> I could be out in a tornado, it's going to stay on my head. Well, maybe not, I don't know. Tornadoes are pretty strong. But, so, this is what I'm going to do with this wig, I think. Now, here along the side here, now that's my natural hair. My hair is gray now. So what I would do, uh, I'm going to either take water color, uh, waterproof mascara and, you know, in black and just do all my edges like that, color them up. Uh, you know, we are at a park, and some it has a little lake there for the Renaissance, and sometimes the wind, we do get a breeze, and, you know, it might blow my hair back, and that way it'll all look uniform, you know, around here. So, that is my plan on this wig. I think it was a great investment purchase, and the more I wear it, the more I kind of like it, you know. Um, I had, this is probably my 3,000th shoot on this video trying to get it right. Either my background was wrong or my, there was noise in the background. Oh my goodness. So I got a lot, a lot to, you know, to, to learn about video taking. <laughs> but I kept this wig on all day. Uh, one of the days I was videotaping and moving stuff around. And even though I get hot, it was, it felt comfortable on my head. It didn't feel, it doesn't itch, you know, feels very comfortable. I think it's worth it, worth the price. $25, yeah, buddy, I got a good deal on this. See how it lays on the shoulder? It just looks so natural. And uh, I love that. So what I plan on doing is for the Renaissance, is probably let me grab it here got these short arms you know grab my hair like this uh, put a braid on one side and I'll probably have trundles coming down this side so that's my plan I'll have put a braid and maybe put some rawhide in there uh, braid it up maybe put some flowers I don't know uh, I may just curl it all the way around because, you know, curling it. This is a human hair wig. I, I surely can curl it. And, you know, then I can have just whoo, waves all around. So, I mean, I think you'll see me uh, in other videos with this wig. Because uh, it's a versatile wig. I could tie a knot at the bottom. You know, do a updo. So there's quite a few things you could do. Now, this is the little headpiece I'm going to wear. I think I pretty much got it done. Let me get it on my head right. Now, when I made this headdress, I measured it with my wig on but I guess as I added product on it got a little tighter so what I'm going to do is right here on the sides uh, I have some combs for my wigs and I thought well I'll just put a couple combs there and secure it down and that way it'll hold it on I won't have to worry about it I mean still it feels a little wobbly 
But yeah, this is uh, how I plan on wearing it. I mean, it looks nice just hanging down like this too, you know. But, uh, you know, I have a statement earring, so, you know, you want to kind of show your earring if you're uh, out there. So. so I like it. Now here's a side view. And the other side. So I really like it. I love it. It's coming along, came along pretty good. Just from uh, pieces of flowers I have laying around and ribbon. I'm on the process of uh, doing my sister's. Now my favorite color is purple, as you see. I'm going to be in the purple uh, different colors of purple and I'm going to have uh, hints of green throughout my costume. My sister's color is green so her head uh, head crown that I'm making will be mostly green with a hint of purple in it and uh, yes so this weekend we're going to go uh, shopping for material because we're going to start working on our costume which is going to consist of a, a band, some type of band. It could be yarn, it could be elastic, measure around your waist. And from that, we're going to extend or tie just random pieces of material so we have this flowy, airy skirt. So we've learned over the years to dress kind of, I don't want to say flimsy, but have our costumes airy. And uh, that's what we plan on doing this year with the woodland fairies. That's what we're going to be. I may be Mother Nature, or she could be my woodland fairy, because she's younger than me, you know. <laughs> so that's what our sisters do. We do stuff together. Well, me and my sister, we do. We try to have fun together and dress alike and incorporate our colors together but I think this is going to be a great costume for the price I'm, I'm just loving it so if you're in a need of a dark long wig you know it is straight but you could curl it and when I curl it I'll let you know how that looks but if you're in need of a long straight wig this is a perfect wig the price is good uh, I'm sure on Amazon it wasn't uh, really expensive I mean it could have been I don't know what the original price was but yeah so I think that's a wrap guys I just want to choose that you know that you see my headgear and how things were going for me and my new wig wig collection so let me know what you think. You think this wig is too dark for me? Or you think it looks all right on me? I know it looks different sometimes after you film, but I just feel uh, the dark hair uh, makes me a little hard looking on the face. Um, the long hair, like I said, emphasizes my new neck. So I'd rather, uh, since I turned gray, my, uh, every time I have different hair on the dark hair always seems just out of place anymore because I've had this gray hair for a few years now and you know it just darker hair just doesn't seem right on me I do love my reds um, but you know you can give me your opinion down there let me know what you think if this is a uh, this color looks all right on me I think for the Renaissance I'll probably do my eyebrows a lot darker you know, oh, I am melting here. It's so, <laughs> so I think that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, me talking about my wig and my adventure that I'm going into. Like my video, give me a thumbs up. That always helps. If you have a comment about anything or a question about something, please ask me or put it down in the comments. 
and subscribe if you can or if you want to. Uh, that helps me out too. I'm just kind of starting out, so in all the subscriptions and likes I get will help me out tremendously. Uh, I want to uh, be on this for a while and, you know, do different projects or adventures, I should say. I'm adventurous going into my seventh, seventh, oh, I can't talk. So, trying to be really adventurous here. Okay, I'll see you later, alligators. Bye.